Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We've got a juicy SPAC for you guys today. That is Quell Acquisition Corporation merging with Lilium Aviation Firm. That is a fantastic amount of stock analysis that we're going to do into both of these companies prior to them merging together. It has been announced and this company has a fantastic product. It is an electric powered jet that essentially will be able to buzz people around a bit like a, a flying taxi and also take out goods and services to people as well so they've got the logistical side of things and the people moving and it's an absolute fantastic way to reduce congestion on our roads and being fully electric it is also excellent for the environment as well super super exciting the investing presentation is absolutely amazing of course i'm going to show you guys that and the potential revenue that these guys could generate will be enormous making this a potential 10 times investment opportunity if you're willing to get in early and sit and be patient and let this company grow into what it's going to be in the future if that sounds like something you're interested in today guys please smash that like button consider subscribing to my channel and i'll catch you in there hey guys welcome into the video so here we have dated the 30th of march aviation startup lilium to go public through a spac deal that has an ex-gm executive at the at the helm called barry eagle so that that special purpose acquisition company is quell acquisition and it is well used to taking companies public 830 million is the expected proceeds from the deal that Lilium is going to get to grow its business going going forward and they're hoping to have an equity value of between about 2.4 and 3.3 billion in value going forward and pipe investing of 380 million held in a trust this company has got a product it's getting right out there and it's not a pipe dream anymore guys this is going to be happening essentially so quail acquisition corp is currently priced at ten dollars 19 a share not bad come down from the high of the january the 22nd of 14 dollars 27 so there's still a long way for this company to go obviously in terms of getting further down the line but ten dollars a share is a bargain price to get in and it's typical of most spacs so lilium the plan is to build multiple jets just like this one that are electrically powered and then build a network on the eastern seaboard of the United States, the western seaboard as well and then globally after this and they're actually headquartered in Munich in Germany. So they're building uh, a network, they've got an app that will be in process as well so you'll be a bit like uber you'll be able to book your ticket beforehand get on a quadcopter and save yourself a lot of money and time and they're going to have these ports all over the place small little verticals, standard ones larger hubs and then rooftop ones as well so you'll be able to access these places all over the place so getting into the investing presentation that was released on the 30th of March hasn't been around long. You can see that the transaction is expected to close in quarter two, 2021. An expected value of 2.4 to 3.3 billion based on 0.7 times 2026 revenue of 3.3 billion. So there's a massive return on your investment available here, guys. I mean, I use a 10, 10 times price earnings, price sales ratio to value what this company would be worth or what these companies would be worth at that point. And that means that this company could be worth 33 billion dollars guys and based on the share price that you've originally bought in at ten dollars there's a massive return on your investment to be had there the transaction is expected to generate nearly a billion dollars in cash to grow this company from where it is now to fully functioning jets delivering and delivering passengers delivering cargo and generating significant revenue there's a highly experienced management team going to be in place from lilium air Airbus former experience, Cruise, Goldman Sachs, that side of things. And they've already got 600 plus employees, which shows you how serious this project and this program is. And they've had significant investors on board as well, including Palantir. So the plan is they've assembled over 400 engineers. There's a potential total addressable market of 1.5 to 3 trillion. They're going to offer a service of shipping 
a person or logistics from point to point and they're going that they're going to have at least 14 ver vertiports in the US exclusive to Lilium in negotiation for another 10 further sites to roll out a European network and the aircraft is a seven seater eVITOL jet as you can see there electrically powered as well they got some serious Partners already on board, as I mentioned, Palantir, but you've got Lufthansa Aviation Training, Bally Guildford and Tessent as well. Lots of big investors here. And this is what it's all about, cutting the time down and just how much it's going to save people's time. People really do value their time, guys. That is so important to think about. So Pali Alto to Napa, 25 minutes will cost $130. But this is the significant thing here, a two hour time saving on that journey. 40 minute time saving on that journey. Just cutting traffic is so, so important to people and saving their time. There's more examples of this there. And then you can see the network of places they're building over on the Eastern seaboard of the United States. So they believe that the moving people market will be worth one to two trillion by 2040. And the moving items and logistics will be worth 0.5 to 0.8 trillion by 2040 as well. Huge total market to be addressing there. They've got their best economics here, seven seats, cruise speed of 175 miles an hour, shift you around all over the place, and a range of 155 miles. Very low noise, and that is key to this comp the, the, this products unique selling points the quadcopters and the open bladed helicopters can't get into the sort of urban environment that this aircraft will be able to land in which is really fantastic you can see just how well designed this jet is going to be super super comfortable be able to pack loads of parcels and items in the back and move things around as well and that's exactly where we're going low noise low vibration larger aircraft than, than larger aircraft with more payload very very scalable 95 percent of jets use the same sort of engine only these are electrically powered of course and they they go on about here their scalability with their seven seater and 16 seater model space for cargo there six meters 15 in the 16 seater and this quadcopter essentially with exposed helicopter blades just can't land in the same sort of places as lilium's aircraft can so they're defining just how good that point is. So this is the this is the key thing here: 220 versus 100 in terms of the noise ratio. That is very important for landing in cities. They've got very advanced battery technology for their aircraft, building on this all the time. They've got multiple innovations to build these batteries into so the aircraft can still take place with 400 engineers combined with 4,000 years aerospace experience working with the likes of Airbus, Rolls-Royce, BAE Systems and Leonardo, some of the finest companies in the world. And then you've got some of the experience the VPs have like working with Eurofighter Typhoon, the Harrier, the Airbus, three different Airbus aircraft as well. And then you've got the management team has over 40 nationalities and work in English and they've already got a very senior board of executives lined up. Certification and manufacturing is coming along this timeline. They are very far into now, well over the halfway point, and are working to get certification agreed, which is fantastic. So the aircraft is expected to be simple for engineers to maintain, 30 times fewer parts than a commercial airliner. And they've got a 100,000 foot prototype manufacturing facility at their headquarters in Munich. The business model is to develop a B2C and B2B solution that enables the company to monetize its jets. There are loads of partners already involved in the infrastructure and operations and Lilium itself is going to provide the digital platform and the aircraft. The digital platform being the app, the aircraft data, the vertiport charging and management, flight planning, all of that side of things. And then the actual Verity ports are going to be provided by other providers. So they believe that one jet could generate over $15,000 in revenue a day. And each jet will cost two and a half million to make. So in a year, they reckon a jet could generate revenue of five million dollars so within six months this jet has paid for itself and then it's just generating money obviously there's flight costs involved in that but the long and short of it is money can be made on these jets very very quickly their service life is obviously going to be a lot longer than a year or two so you've got 
annual revenue expected to be pretty high as well. And then they've got $200 million in commitments from leading partners to start building this network that we've been going on about. They've got the Florida network coming online, a potential German network coming online, all in talks with the European uh, Aviation and Safety Agency, and then the same with the Federal Aviation Administration as well, the FAA. Training will be provided by Lufthansa Aviation, which trains normal pilots and this will just extend to this side of things as well and the transaction is going to be doing particularly well talent and infrastructure 500 million go to market 100 million and production and engineering 200 million that's where the capital is going to be employed we've got balanced revenue streams coming online as well a thousand jets in operation potentially by 2027 and 30,000 tickets sold a year as well with 600,000 miles flown per year in each jet and the, the revenue turnover is going to be absolutely massive as well. Financial profile you can see that the revenue will tick up massively over 2024 to 2025 that is the key year but then it's going to almost it's going to double each year after that as it all comes online. Massively great to see that they're in comparison to their competitors they've got a very low uh, pro forma section right here and then we've got a overview of the transaction at the start of just how much capital is going to go forward to help get this exactly where we want it to be generating revenue which is absolutely brilliant this is a company to get very very excited about guys in my opinion a whole new way of doing things but has the potential to really revolutionize the transport industry there we have it guys, super, super exciting. Lilium Aviation is going to transform the way we get around our cities across the United States and across Europe in the end as well. Expansion is looking fantastic. They're getting nearly a billion dollars in capital to help make this happen. They've already got a super established team and a product and it's just about taking it from that point right the way through to generating revenue. I love seeing companies that already have a product and a massively great business plan in place. So I'm very excited about this one. Definitely going to be looking into it and probably taking on a position as well. You should definitely have a look at it and do your due diligence as well, of course. And I'll catch you in another investing episode. Catch you later.